today's Power Nation Extra, we're going to go over some more parts verification, but this falls under a broader subject of engine blueprinting. Now, if you're a hot rodder or a car guy, you've heard the term engine blueprinting quite a bit. And simply what that means is you are setting clearances and tolerance to what you feel are correct for your particular application, whether it's a street car or a full tilt race bullet. And today we're going to go over something pretty specific on the end of the camshaft. Although it may not seem like it, the end of the camshaft is extremely important. This is where the timing gear is bolted, and if this surface is not perpendicular with the ground journal, it can cause all types of problems because the top gear won't run true. Here are three problems that can arise from the timing gear not running true. First, it will cause excessive wear on the chain and gear. As these parts wear out, they can deposit metal debris into the oiling system or worse, the top gear will fail, leading to catastrophic engine damage. Second, on flat tappet applications, the excessive back and forth movement of the cam can cause increased wear on lobes and lifters. And third, in extreme cases, it can cause ignition timing fluctuations and increase wear on the distributor gear itself. Armed with this new information, how would you go about checking this? Well, all you need is a magnetic base dial indicator, which is an essential tool for engine blueprinting. And we're going to do it in the mock-up stage with no chain or bottom gear installed. So if we have to make a change to the front of the camshaft, it's easy to pull out. We'll attach the magnetic base to the block and zero out our gauge. To turn it, I'll use a speed handle so I can keep my hands out of the way. By rotating the cam slowly, the gauge will indicate the amount of runout at the timing gear. We have less than two thousandths TIR, or total indicated runout. That is an acceptable tolerance to have, but it is on the high side. Anything more than that, you're going to start experiencing some of the problems that we discussed earlier. And here's where you have to get a machine shop involved, because most people can't do this themselves, but we're going to show you how it's done. Over here in the lathe, I chucked up an old cam out of another engine that had an extreme amount of runout, over 20 thousandths at the gear, and it's very easy to see. We're just going to take off the minimum amount so we get 100% cleanup on the cam. Once finished, the cam gear will run straight and true. Problem solved. <laughs> 